to the video. Okay, yes, you are about to see something that might be a little bit too much for some, if you get my drift, okay? Yes, you are about to see a tooth extraction. Yeah, a really, really hard tooth that did not really want to come out of my, my dome piece, my mouthpiece. Yes, I currently have dreads that I just put in. Um, by the way, on another note. <laughs> anyway, I'm um, going to play the video because unfortunately, my mic wasn't plugged in enough to catch what the hell I was saying which really irritated the shit out of me. But nonetheless, I'm gonna play the video so that I can tell you basically what I was trying to say. So, basically I'm reacting to the video, to my very own video, okay? I'm going for that boho look, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying? By the way, my mouth is still hurting. I've been having to put this damn gauze in my mouth all right, so let's go. Let's just do this here, okay? Dun, dun, dun. So, it, in the beginning, I'm telling the story of why I'm terrified, terrified of the dentist, okay? And why I have not wanted to go to the dentist because of this situation that had happened and the dentist if you've never heard this story I went to the dentist one time to get Novocaine to get a filling done just a filling and on one of these teeth right here and they went into my opt optic nerve and my whole body had like this whole surge I felt like I was dying and it made my eyes cross for whatever reason so ever since then excuse me I've been afraid I have been afraid. I usually was fine with the dentist my whole entire life. That happens and it was pretty bad. So anyway. I don't know why I don't know. But soon after that, my eyes started crossing. My eyes started crossing in the dentist's office. My eyes, like this, okay? And it stayed like that for a good, I'm gonna say, Give me five minutes. I'm gonna say five minutes. Where I was panicking, and my best friend was there, uh, panicking, saying, "What's wrong with my eyes? Why do I feel like this? What's wrong with my eyes?" And they're telling me, "Nothing. It's okay. It's fine. It's normal." Like, no, it's not normal. So anyway, supposedly they shot the nerve, the nerve came in my optic nerve, and that is why my eyes crossed. Supposedly, it happens a lot. Anyway. Need I say anymore, I changed my dentist, okay? So now this is like three years later, and I need to get a tooth removed um, from back there, okay? Well, today's the day. So I'm starting this mob off here. If you're wondering why I have been gone, this is the reason why. Um, I do have some videos on up, just in case, uh, I'm out of commission and my face is swollen or something, you know what I'm saying? Let's pray I don't get a dry socket because we all know I smoke, even though I never got a dry socket before in my life. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, that is what the day is called. So, I'm getting ready to go to the dentist. Yes, I did my face a little bit. I put my brows on partially because it's kind of a distraction. I'm going to put my hair up really high so that when I lay back in the chair, um, my big old hair is not in the way. All right, so um, stay tuned. Kilo's gonna be in the room. Somebody always has to be with me. I mean, actually, I did go to the dentist by myself the other day, and I was pretty good. But the only thing with my anxiety, this is the, the most embarrassing part, okay? When I get anxious and I'm at the doctor's office, my lip 
starts twitching the bottom of it. When I have my mouth open, so I'm like, and it annoys the hell out of me. It annoys me. It's no longer on the inside of my body. It is now on the outside of my body, where people can see. This is where the footage went off. And I'm just telling you how I get really annoyed about when my lip twitches and I have to go I'm going like this and I have to like hold my lip. <sighs> then I'm going to start talking about this is where I got like pretty deep and I really wanted you guys to hear me. I started basically amping myself up and telling myself, okay, Melissa. You have been through so much trauma, okay? Like, I had three C-sections, two were regular C-sections, well, one was because Tony was so humongous, and then Angie was because it was an emergency C-section. So, like, I was basically telling myself, like, come on, Melissa, you could do this shit you could freaking do this shit you have been through way more traumatic stuff you're just getting a tooth pulled you could do it you're not gonna die your husband is there nothing is going to happen to you so that's basically what i'm saying here <sighs> yeah that totally freaking annoyed me because the mic was plugged in it was just not working for some reason and here we are at the dentist, and I am going to leave you here until the end of the video. Just know I conquered a big freaking fear this day. I, I conquered my worst fear. Right. I was thinking about that. that. Yeah, oh yeah, I feel it. They he said to just leave it until I don't know. He said he wouldn't extract it. So that's the one the that last two? Yeah. Yeah, no. It doesn't need to be extracted. The filling needs to be replaced. Okay. But I'm just telling you in advance so you're not surprised if the filling breaks. So if the filling extract. comes out why are you doing it now? Then what? Then we let that heal up and we we'll get you back and put in your filling in there. Okay. Am I gonna be like in in no. pain? <laughs> no. okay. It might be a little sensitive if you put cold or you know, something like that. Well, but positive not... thinking, hopefully it just stays yeah. there. I'm just letting you know because the tooth it's already a compromise because the filling is already broken on there and it's a big silver filling. Uh, and uh -huh. this tooth has a lot of good bone around it. It's not gonna be like a easy extraction where it's looser or it's, it's got a lot of bone on it. That's why I was asking you about the root canal treatment. Oh uh, yeah, yeah that's the problem. My teeth they wanna go, but my 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 bones don't ever want to lift them out. <laughs> so um most likely what we'll have to do is we separate the tooth, we put it into two two parts that way because there's two roots down there. Right. And a lot of times it's easier to take it out. Why you is that going? Mm -hmm. Okay. Really like the nerve. Well, 
all I can do is give you another block, okay? And if Why I can't is it, hit, it feels like it's not hitting it. What do you mean? Like, I still feel it. I know. I, I can't tell you why. Good All night. I can do is give you what I, what I know how to give you. All right. And if it doesn't do it, then I'll have to send you to an all surgeon. Oh my god, like this? Just Please. pull it. Just pull it out. <sighs> Just stay calm. Just stay calm. Don't don't scare yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't scare yourself. Stay calm. It just feels like a like a um like when you're nervous and exposed, because I've had that. And you're sucking in like cold air. That's what it feels like when you're pulling it. But in my jaw. Yeah. Alright. I believe you. And you have a big cavity on it, obviously, so the nerve is probably hot nerve inflamed. Okay. Well they said it so. wasn't. <laughs> No, I'm not saying it's infected. I'm okay. saying it's inflamed. Okay. Sometimes it's a little bit. But once you get the nerve out, you know, we're good, right? No. The nerve comes out with the tooth. Right. Well, okay, so once but, you get yeah, the nerve it's, out, it's good. But that's the issue is Disconnected. getting it out comfortably. <laughs> I got this. You know what? I'm going to switch. Cargo. Are you. Almost halfway out? No, not very okay. close. Yes. All we did was kind of push the tissue away a little bit so we could get to areas to start to luxate the tooth, get it loose. So I'm going to give you more anesthetic, but this does not have epinephrine in it, okay? okay. It kind of spreads out a little bit more. Okay. You probably won't feel much of this because there you are back there. As far as like the tooth? Yeah. Oh, oh, no, not too much. I feel weird anyway. My eyes, this side of my face. It feels numb. Everything feels numb. Yeah, and anytime that that happens, it's like it feels numb. It's like I get to a point where it's like I can't get it any number. Yeah, like it's my like, face feels numb. I can give you more anesthetic, but it doesn't mean it's gonna touch it, calm the nerve. Right. You know, if it's inflamed, then it's inflamed. And so and either I have to push through it, or either you push through it, or you know you go to an oral surgeon and they. Sometimes they can give you sedation, or they can, you know, if they have different materials or whatnot. I'm, I'm limited to what anesthetic we have here. Yeah. So. So basically, if I don't want to leave out of here with the tooth like this, because knowing my insurance, I won't be able to get to an oral. Um, oral surgeon. Yeah. Like right away. So I basically just have to push through it. Well, hopefully it gets, it gets numb, you know? Mm -hmm. Ideally, I'd like to section it, but I don't want to section it until I'm comfortable that it's numb. Obviously, so. I'll cut it in half, right? Yep. Yeah. You know, sometimes you can get, I, I, I don't section all the teeth, but sometimes when there's this much bone around it, it's, you, uh, you save yourself some time and, you know, save you, uh, some discomfort as far as just being in the chair longer. Yeah. Okay. Back to that moment when you was pregnant with Tony.
and they couldn't give you any medicine. Well, they did. They gave you something without the oh. epinephrine, I guess. You gotta put yourself in a Hawaiian state of mind where you can get out of body. <laughs> Pressure. I can't take pressure. Away. No, it's not the pressure. Nobody can take pressure. Just, just do it. You'll know if I feel it. If I can't take it, you'll know. You're doing good, babe. You're doing good. Can you go that way? Or do you want to go this way? I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going.
seloknya ini part of it. You did good, Doc. Alright. <laughs> you must have a very really strong arm. Awesome. We were able to, you know, go back and forth enough, and then when we sectioned it, it, it takes a lot of stress off the anything we have to do right. the adjacent okay. seat. It was just so. sectioning it, trying to get it away. Well, there's that you, one hook, that one yeah, tooth with the hook. Like it was this. just. And if you think about it, you're trying to pull up, and there's bone in there, you pull up against that. Right. You're pulling up a ledge. Gotcha. Bone, mm. And you're not going to be able to get it out. Okay. Right. Unless you break something. 
a lot of times it's okay yeah. to break something. It's right. just when you pop it out because you've gotten it so used to begin with. Did you pour it out already? Yeah, I did. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to do it with that knife. It was long. Yeah, it was. I would think I would have bad bone, bad teeth. No, okay? They gotta be mean and like give everybody a hard time. Yep. Well, um, yeah, he made him earn his money today. Oh, it it takes a, can you take Motrin or ibuprofen? Yeah. Or that? That takes so now we are at the end of the video, and I am talking to you. This was right when I came back, feeling like 10 pounds of shit. Um, my teeth are like stained from the blood. Uh, I have to go like this because I'm trying to keep the gauze in my mouth while I'm talking. So that's why. I'm talking like that with my goofy ass self, but I was letting you guys know that everything went good uh, The tooth gave a really hard time because uh, for some reason you would hear me talking to the doctor um, I My bones are really good in my mouth. It's my teeth Anytime I get a tooth pulled I've had a tooth pulled here. Yeah, I've had teeth pulled um, They never want to come out so Be aware. I am going to show you right here <laughs> where they pulled my tooth. It wasn't bleeding that bad. Now you just see me struggling, trying to fit the gauze back in. Anyway. I'll just, I'll just stop here and let you just finish watching the video with all my goofy faces. But just know, your girl did it. I conquered a big fear. If I can do it, you can do it. Yes, my lip was twitching. It was, but I had warned the doctor that this is what happens. And I feel like I, I feel like I felt better after I did that. But... just looking at myself I want to just laugh at myself anyway okay let me get off here I'm about to edit this video because this is the only thing that was missing and until the next video I will catch you on the flip side and y'all know I love you mucho mucho bye guys